spice that I drink um, a couple times a week. I actually put it in, in, in whatever health drink that I'm drinking is cayenne pepper. Ooh. And that's the kind of spice yeah. that is- He has some weird habits. It's miserable um, <laughs> because it's very, very hot. And what I do is I just take a little bit and I put it in, like, let's say I'm having a veggie drink and then I just guzzle it down and it's painful and I cough and Ooh. it burns my throat. I don't it like- It probably is literally burning your throat. There's probably like right. holes. Well, okay. And I don't like, I don't like cayenne pepper. I don't like hot spices um, when I eat. I'm doing this solely for the health benefits. That cayenne pepper that I drink, I don't like doing it. Um, it burns my throat on the way down, but it's really good for my digestive system. It's really good for- metabolism. It's, it really does help everything else that you do. And so that's what I believe we try to do with the show a lot too, is sometimes I do things that people are like, oh, I didn't enjoy that piece. I didn't like seeing my hero, my Bible hero struggle that way. I didn't like seeing Simon um, as a gambler and as a fighter or whatever it is. There are sometimes I, that I do things that I believe aren't exactly enjoyable to watch or enjoyable to experience. And sometimes are even painful to face ourselves, but they're important. They're healthy. Um, we can't only eat ice cream. Sometimes we have to eat our vegetables and sometimes we have to take some spices that aren't exactly enjoyable, but they're really, really healthy for us. Mm -hmm. Spices need to get crushed in order to release their flavors. Ah, that's really good. That is so really that cayenne pepper. It has to be crushed. God will need to crush us in order for us to release the flavors that he has created uh, us for. And that's true. That's true of olive oil. Um, and why, one of the reasons why the Garden of Gethsemane when Jesus was crushed. And so uh, that's not only true of us and true of spices, it's true of oil and it's true of Jesus.